Hello and thank you for joining us today. Uh, my name is Michael. I'm here at the OneSource Video Studios. I'm from Softron. Uh, Softron is a company with over 30 years experience in developing uh, software exclusively on a Mac platform for professional broadcasters and video production specialists. I'm here to talk about uh, Movie Recorder, our flagship uh, piece of software. It's an edit well ingest solution that allows for an unparalleled uh, turnaround time as you'll see a little bit later in the video. It's very versatile and very easy to use. Some typical users of Movie Recorder are really anybody looking to do capture. It can be a single camera uh, or multi cameras as well. Um, movie Recorder can control another Movie Recorder so you can really really capture a lot of angles simultaneously. There are many high profile cases that use Movie Recorder including the Tour de France and the 24 Hour of Le Mans, Pepperdine University and many other schools that record their classes and stream them. We also have giant ministries that use Movie Recorder so that they can basically record a service and have it ready uh, for, to broadcast across multiple time zones pretty much as soon as the service is finished. The Edit Well Ingest features are also very helpful with sports production, live music production, and lectures uh, where um, they can have a finished product right at the end of the event. For example, uh, something on a merchandise table or something to give to each of the attendees of an event or something on a website basically while or right after an event has occurred. Also, Movie Recorder is used very successfully to be automated and basically turn on and off uh, to schedule recordings. Uh, for example, like classrooms or courtrooms and, and we have uh, many government channels using that to broadcast their city hall meetings and things like that. Some benefits to the users uh, for the dealers to help you sell this, um, basically the cost. Um, the production cost uh, is significantly lower because um, the Edit Well Ingest features require uh, less manpower, less hours in post-production, as well as less uh, time uh, in general to convert file types and to uh, transfer information from camera memory cards onto hard drives. Also, the remote controllability of Movie Recorder really helps because it allows one operator to be in a few places at the same time, uh, decreasing the amount of manpower needed at each job site. As far as uh, the computer power needed, um, if you're just doing a couple channels, it could be something as simple as a Mac Mini. If you'd want to do like a full eight channels, you can use a Mac Pro uh, to get the most out of Movie Recorder in that way. A three, three and a half gig, six core uh, Mac Pro can, uh, with 16 gigabytes of RAM can can uh, handle uh, eight channels of HD capture uh, simultaneous. The hardware needed to run Movie Recorder is very flexible also. Uh, we support a few different uh, major video card uh, manufacturers. Uh, we have an M80 bundle ourselves, uh, and the experts here at OneSource Video can also be a great resource in helping you choose uh, uh, appropriate video cards uh, to run Movie Recorder. On the Softron website, www.softron.tv, you'll find uh, tables that compare uh, the codecs you would like to use, uh, different formats, uh, how many channels you'd like to ingest, and uh, the processing power needed to do all of this. Also, the folks at OneSource Video are a great resource as well. Um, on the Softron website, you'll also find uh, tutorials, quick start guides, uh, manuals, all kinds of stuff. Um, so check it out. Um, without further ado, I'll introduce the Movie Recorder interface and you'll see firsthand how intuitive it is and easy to use. When we first launch the Movie Recorder application, Movie Recorder will detect the connected video card. In this case, I have an M80 connected, which is essentially a DeltaCast 8 input video card, as you can see here. In order to view each of these feeds, we can just drag and drop these sources into the viewing portals, or we can enable them by clicking this checkbox here, and then they will be available from the drop-down menu to select them in each of the panels. Now that we have some sources selected, we have to tell Movie Recorder where we'd like them recorded and how we'd like them written. We do that here with this Destinations tab. I can select that, and let's select a destination. So let's add a QuickTime destination, and we can name it if it will help us keep track a little bit better. We tell it where it'd like to be written to with this button, and we can do some custom naming as well, which really is helpful for scheduled recordings because these are just naming tokens, so they're going to substitute in what the year actually is, what the month actually is. We can use a forward slash to create subdirectories as well. And we can use an underscore to separate some of these values 
if that helps us as well. And you can see what this will look like down here. We can also, instead of using numbered years and numbered dates, we can actually have it say September or Tuesday or things like that. Also, we have metadata available, which is really helpful when cataloging and trying to find the media that you're making. We can embed this as a QuickTime or write it as a sidecar file. And we can configure these um, in our AV presets, which is in our preferences panel, but I'll cover that next. One of the powerful things about Movie Recorder is the edit well and just feature functionality that it has. And it uh, will allow you to go to work as an editor while the event is still occurring or you can start play out while the event is still occurring. And here we can configure that with this setup here and we can choose the codec. Now not all codecs are edit well and just formats. So if we select a not edit well and just format, you'll see that things like JPEG 2000 and H.264 are now available. We can actually add some custom uh, presets to this as well. You do that here. And we can rotate and crop the video feed and record it like that. We can also map the audio as well, which is really helpful if for people dealing with like 16 channels or five channels. And you can even change the languages uh, as well in audio setup here. And while I'm in this menu, I can also show you the metadata. Here's where you would set that up. Okay, so now that we have a couple destinations listed, uh, that's one of the things that makes Movie Recorder so versatile is that we can select multiple destinations in multiple locations. So we can do this one in 422 proxy, this one in like for example H.264 so we have a compressed stream and we can write them to multiple places at the same time because in each of the panels we select them separately. So in this case I can write to two places in two formats at the same time and I can do the same here and here. To start recording one of these, we just basically hit the record button in that feed, or if we'd like to record all at the same time, we select them and use this gang record button at the bottom. Movie Recorder can also be controlled remotely. This is really helpful when trying to control multiple machines running Movie Recorder from one interface. We can do that here. Let's give ourselves a few more portals to look at. Here we go. Let's add a remote source. I have my MacBook running a uh, movie recorder as well, so let's add that. I have a couple streams going into that. And you work it just the same way. I can control it as well. Also, I can control movie recorder from any web browser as well. We can use a web browser from any phone, tablet, or even a PC or Linux machine. In this case, let's launch Safari just to illustrate this point. I'll type in the IP address of the machine we would like to control. And you can see that we can select the sources the same way and control the recording of them in the same manner as we do as if they were local. This is also fully Apple scriptable and uses HTTP REST API interface if you're familiar. If we have regularly scheduled events, we can automate this recording using the movie recorder interface as well. We can open up the scheduling panel and add an event here. Let's suppose we're a college and would like to record a class that occurs on Mondays and Wednesdays from 9 to 11. Set that up here. We just select the camera that will be supplying that feed. And just like we did with the live uh, sources um, previously, uh, we select where and in what format we would like this to be recorded. And we set that up using the destinations tab like we did before. Let's suppose we have a satellite feed that comes in. On Mondays, we set it up the same way. And you can see here that these, each of these dots represents the day of the week. We have our times, the duration, and we can modify any of the settings here. In addition to being great for live events and scheduled events, 
Uh, Movie Recorder is also fantastic for archiving older format media, like uh, Betamax or, or any kind of deck. And we can control it from the interface as well. Uh, what we have here is something called Serial Commander, and it's a Softron product that allows you to connect four different uh, decks to one USB port. And this is just the Sony 9-pin uh, format that allows for the control. And in the Movie Recorder interface, we can click on the VTR uh, tab, and basically uh, we can control the uh, deck from here, and we can log the events here, and then down at the bottom we can batch capture, or we can take a logged event and just capture that one selection by selecting that here. And if we happen to make a mistake we don't like, we can just remove it by clicking on this minus sign. Uh, Movie Recorder also supports closed captioning and a couple different timecode formats. Uh, we can use Mac Buddy, for example, a linear time code. We can use the time code built right into the Mac uh, using the Mac clock. And we can do that with this interface by selecting the TC button here at the bottom. We can control the uh, number of audio channels that we're monitoring. And we can also, as I showed you before, if we want to uh, slave a few different movie recorder applications, we can control how many portals we control simultaneously just to make it easy for us to control down here. So that's a quick look at the Movie Recorder application. As you can see, it's pretty intuitive and simple to use, but it's very powerful and very flexible and versatile as well. Some of the best production groups in the world use it, but it's simple enough for volunteers and students to use it as well. Um, any of the pricing, some upgrades like closed captioning, we have some more codecs that we have as well available. They're all on the website. There's free demos on the website as well. The demos are fully functional. Uh, they just watermark the screen every 10 seconds or so, but um, you'll definitely be able to test it out on your system and see exactly how it will work uh, and make sure it's the right fit for you. So thanks for checking out this video. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at any time or anybody here at OneSource. They're very knowledgeable. Our website is www.softron.tv. And again, my name is Michael. Thank you so much. <laughs>